this look is inspired by one of my favorite youtubers it is holly boone so i will put her youtube channel in a link down below in the description box and this is just going to be a recreation of one of her looks that i fell in love with recently so we are going to get into the video now i've already done my skincare routine and i've done my eyebrows off camera so we're just going to move on to eyeshadow so i'm going to zoom you in so to start off with our base i am going to take the p louise base and the only shade that i have in this at the moment is rumor so what i'm going to do is i'm going to mix it with a little bit of my revolution prime and lock concealer on the back of my hand and i'm going to take my wet and wild concealer brush and i'm just going to blend the two together and now i'm just going to prime I'm going to take our sponge and just blend it in. Now we're going to take our Milani pressed powder in the shade Pecan. This is a bronzer and when Holly does her video she uses her bronzer for the actual transition shade so that's what we're going to do today and I'm going to take that on my Sigma E38 travel brush and these little travel brushes are amazing. I bought them on Beauty Bay so I've seen that there's one similar on there that will travel set but I don't do these little pink ones anymore unfortunately so we're just going to take a little bit on our brush dust off the excess and then now we're just going to blend out our transition So once you're happy with blending that out, we're going to now cut our crease. So I'm going to be taking the P. Louise shade Rumo Zero. It's the only shade that I have at the moment. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix it with my Revolution Prime and Lock Concealer and just mix the two together on the back of my hand. I'm going to be taking my Wet n Wild Concealer Brush to mix the two and to apply the concealer. And because we are cutting the crease, we want that yellow to be standing out quite a lot. So we're just going to be patting it on so we don't disturb the eyeshadow underneath. It doesn't mix with our concealer. I learned this little trick from Manny MUA is that he lifts his eyelid up and then it gives you where your actual crease is but I'm just going to go above my crease Holly does this in her video as well but I'm going to do it as well because I think I've got hooded eyes I don't know I'm sure I do I've got hooded eyes so obviously if you have hooded eyes you need to take your eyeshadow up because you're going to just not be able to see it really so for the eyeshadow we are going to take our Be Perfect Carnival palette, it is one of my favourites. I take this yellow right here and it is called Keen. So I'm going to be taking it to start off with, with my E55 Sigma brush. And what we're going to do is we're just going to pat the colour on first. Just to build up that colour and then we are going to take a blending brush to buff it out. So now that we've blended out the yellow eyeshadow, we're going to go back with our Milani and the Sigma brush and we're just going to blend the two together on the outside corner. So 
Now that I've blended the two together, I'm now going to do my foundation off camera and then I will be back to finish off the rest of the face. So now we've done foundation, I use my Maybelline Superstay in Sun Beige and I also use my Morphe brush. So now we are just going to do our under eyes and we are going to conceal. So we are going to take the Revolution Conceal and Define in F9 and we are just going to put a little bit under our eyes. Taking our sponge, we are just going to blend out. Now we're going to set our face using a Maybelline Fit Me Powder in the shade 220 and take our Spectrum brush. All items that we use today we are going to list below. So then we're just going to set this. I absolutely love this powder. It is so amazing and it, it literally does what it says. It says that it's like poreless and it makes you look like you're got no pores. I'm just going to move on to eyeliner so I'm taking my Artitech eyeliner from LA Splash and it is a slim eyeliner. I absolutely love this eyeliner. So we're just going to make a cat eye. now we've done our eyeliner the look is starting to come together so now we are going to move on to our bronzer so we're going back with our Milani powder that we use for our eyeshadow and we're taking our angle spectrum brush Now we're going to move on to blusher and we are taking our Miss Lynn Treat Me Sweet blusher and we are just going to add some colour back into those cheekbones. Now we're going to move on to highlighter so I'm taking my new combo that I do at the moment it's a mix of liquid and powder so they're both from Revolution and it's the Revolution liquid highlighter in luminous gold and then our ultra pro palette so now we're going to set the face we're going to take our revolution glow fix setting spray and i like to do my mascara after setting spray just because mascara just seems to run sometimes so i'd rather do it after or just some more because it is going so we're going to just let that set and then we will do our mascara and then that'll be our finished look done so here's the finished look i hope you enjoyed this little tutorial on how to do this eyeshadow look today if you did then please give a thumbs up Don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any other videos until next time everyone thank you for watching bye